So I'm gonna wash my hands, knock, knock. Good morning, my name is Xavier, I'll be your senior for today. Is it okay if I check your name, Ben? Meredith Gray, nice to meet you. I'll be calling you Mrs. Gray. So I'm gonna be helping you with your lower bed bath, is that okay? So I'll be back with my supplies and I'll be right back. Wash hands, grab the supplies. So I have my chucks. And then I have my supplies. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the curtain for privacy, and I'll raise the bed to a comfortable position. I'm gonna lower the side rail. And I'm going to put my first set of gloves. So on this scale, again, keep them covered. We don't wanna expose the patient, promote dignity, and also promote privacy. So we're going to place a towel underneath the legs of the patient. So we're going to put it vertically, hot dog style. Please raise your leg for me. And on this skill, we want to do it in segments. Don't expose the whole leg like this. We're going to do the hips, the upper leg, and then the lower leg. And the last is the foot. So let's start with the hips. So I have my first washcloth, I have my water, and I have my soap, and we're going to make sure that the water is 105. So we have the patient test it, they say it's fine. We're going to make a hand mitt, so get some water, soap, go ahead and do circular motions, rinse, and then pat dry. Let's say that they happen to say that there's a rash, if there happens to be a rash, Make sure to use hypoallergenic soap or mild soap. And then we're just gonna go ahead and let the nurse know about this and just pat the area. We're gonna rinse it and then pat dry. Once I have to clean the rest of the body, just make sure you change the water, change gloves, change the water to do the rest. So this is new gloves, I have new water now, and I have a new washcloth. So I'll go ahead and do water soap. If you can please raise your leg for me. We're gonna rinse and pat dry. I'll do the lower leg, so water soap. If you can raise your leg for me, thank you. Rinse, pat dry. And as you're doing this, check the skin for any redness, any skin abnormalities that you happen to notice. Once you cl finish cleaning the lower leg, just make sure you're going to tell the nurse at this point, I'll change water, change gloves, and also change my wa washcloth. So this is going to be my new gloves and I have new washcloth, new water. I'm gonna have them test it. All right, so it's 105, they said it's fine. And then I have a new washcloth already. I'm gonna get some water, some soap. Make sure you clean in between the toes. Once you're done, you can put this into the hamper. And we're gonna ask Mrs. Gray, can you please bend your knee? Thank you. We're gonna go ahead and soak the foot for about three minutes. So once three minutes pass, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the basin. We're gonna go ahead and pat dry. And I'm gonna say, I'll do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead and remove the towel. This goes into the hamper. And the gloves can come off. Just make sure that they're covered. And my last set of gloves will be to clean up. So always just make sure if there's anything dirty at the end, especially if you've been using gloves, that you use gloves at the end to clean up the supplies. So this one will be dumped, rinse and dry. And this will be in the trash. Mrs. Gray, so here's your call light, your phone, tissue, water, and magazines. If there's anything else you need, just let me know and I'll be right back. So I'll open the curtains, I'll wash my hands, step outside, record, and report.